morning dear students i welcome you all for today's class today we are going to learn a poem her head which is written by john murray john murray is an american poet play writer and a uh, editor uh, she is famous for writing narrative poems her poems are based on stories so this poem is also based on a story of a village in south africa where there is a drought and a woman uh, carries a pail of water on her head now in this village there is a worst situation due to drought all the crops are dried up animals are dying human beings are also about to die so let us begin with the poem her head near yukutkeni in natal south africa a woman carries water on her head now the setting of this story is a near ekuvikeni in natal which is in south africa so here a woman carries water on her head after a year of drought when one child in three is at risk of death after a year of drought means this place is facing drought for over a year and after a year uh, when one child in three is at risk so there are three children and from the three one child is at the risk of death the one child is about to die that the the child is at the verge of dying she returns from a distant well carrying water on her head so this woman she returns from a distant distant far away place the woman has um, gone long distance she has walked a long distance in search of water and she is returning with a pail of water on her head the pumpkins are gone the tomatoes withered now as there is no water the pumpkins and tomatoes have dried up now you know that to grow any crops any vegetables water is essential have you uh, means we cannot grow crops without water and as there is a scarcity of water the pumpkins and tomatoes have dried up yet the woman carries water on her head now you, you will notice that this line is repeated so this line a uh, woman carries a water on her head is repeated after every few lines uh, to emphasize the situation now here you can see uh, you can also find uh, the hardships which are faced by the woman uh, so as there is scarcity of water the women have to carry water on their head from distant places the cattle 
Seven crawls are empty. The boat's gone. Now the cattle crawls. Crawls means uh, an enclosure where animals are kept. Cattle means animals. So the place where animals are kept uh, it is called as crawls. So these cattle crawls are empty because the, there are no cattle. The cattle are dying due to drought. The boats got. Gaunt means uh, they have become very thin and bulky due to hunger. As you know that uh, due to scarcity of water, there are no crops, no fruits, no vegetables. So the cattle do not get any food to eat and because of that they are becoming thin day by day and they are also about to die. No milk now for children, but she is carrying water on her head. Now there is no milk for children. Children also do not get any food. As there are no cattle, there is no milk. Due to the scarcity of water, people also don't get any food to eat. The engineers have reversed the river. Those with power can keep their power. Now, the, what is the reason for the drought? The reason for the drought in this village is that the engineers have reversed the flow of river water. They have changed the direction of the river. Now, why they have changed? Because of the pressure of higher authorities. The power, power means here the higher authorities or you can say the political leaders. The political leaders or the higher authorities have pressurized the engineers to change the flow of river water. And due to that there is no water in the village and the village is going through hardships. Those with power can keep their power. Now here the word power is used twice. Uh, the meaning of the word power which is used first that I have already told you, the higher authorities of the political leaders. So they can keep their power. Now here power means uh, electricity. Maybe uh, they are going to build the dams to produce hydroelectricity and due to that the engineers were asked to change the direction or the flow of the river. So they have reversed the river. And hence the villagers uh, do not get any water. For all year they did not get water. But one woman is carrying water on her head. In the homelands where the dusty crowds watch the empty roads for water trucks. Now in the, you can also see that a woman is carrying water on her head. The line is repeated here as well. In the homelands where the dusty crowds watch the empty roads for water trucks. When woman trusts herself with treasure and carries water on her head. So in this village, uh, the people have gathered in a dusty place on the empty roads and they are waiting for the water trucks. They need water and so they have gathered on the empty roads and they are waiting for the water trucks. One woman trusts herself with treasure and carries water on her head. Now one woman, she trusts herself with the treasure. Now here what is the treasure? 
the treasure is a pail of water which she is carrying on her head now this woman she sees the suffering of the people the life of people is at risk and so uh, she goes to a distant place and carries pail of water on her head the sun does not dissuade her nor the dry earth that blows against her now the sun does not dissuade her dissuade means persuade somebody not to do something so sun uh, does not uh, persuade her not to drink the water in such a scorching heat she brings a pail of water on her head see to walk in a scorching heat it is very difficult and she is carrying a huge pail of water on her head so see how difficult it would be for her but she wants to save the life of people and so she has undertaken this responsibility of bringing the water in a huge and dirty pail with an idle handle resting on a narrow can this woman is carrying water on her head now this woman is carrying water on her head in a dirty pail now why here uh, it is a uh, record as a dirty pail now why is her pail huge dirty and with an idle handle now the pail is huge and dirty because uh, she was not able to find uh, any clean water and she is trying to make use of whatever water she has found she is carrying this dirty pail of water on her head uh, over a long distance so that she can save her people this woman who girds her neck with safety pins this one who carries water on her head trust her own head to bring to her people what they need now between life and death she is carrying for them water on her head the woman who girds her neck girds means uh, equip herself uh, with strength or uh, or you can say steep herself now uh, the woman has entrusted herself to bring water and save the life of people isn't it she chooses to do hard work herself and she faces many hardships so this uh, shows a strong characteristic and uh, will of steel means you know how uh, hard steel is so her will her determination is also very hard very strong and so here it is said that uh, she has the will of steel now she knows uh, that uh, nobody is going to help them and uh, if they themselves do not do anything to save their lives they may die and so she has undertaken this responsibility with a great will and determination and uh, she has done a very courageous job now the title of the poem is her head now why do you think uh, the poet has given this title her head so this is uh, because the woman is carrying a pail of water on her head her head uh, brings life to her people as she is carrying water uh, so the life of people is saved so it is said that her head brings life to her people
so this title is thought provoking now the title is a symbol of self reliance and selfless service so this woman she does the selfless service for the people hence the title is appropriate i hope you have understood the poem now what message is given through this poem it conveys the message uh, of hardship faced by the people due to lack of water due to scarcity of water so what do we learn from this that we should conserve water water is a natural resource and we need to conserve it now we should not waste water so i hope you will keep this in mind and try to save water thank you